What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanna to talk about why I think solar is a good investment. Since I've been doing a lot of solar videos lately, I've gotten a lot of comments from people saying that solar's a terrible investment, the technology's not there yet, it's a waste of time and money, and you know it pollutes the environment, all these different things. So today I wanted to dispel the myth, basically, that solar is a terrible investment. You, you won't make your money back. I'm here to prove mathematically and with a real world situation that you can make your money back. And before we start, yes, I realize there are areas of the world, and specifically the United States, where solar would probably be a bad investment in the far northeast, far northwest, um, and, and just the far north in general, probably not going to see this type of return on investment. I'm specifically talking, before I get any responses to this video, I'm talking the areas on this map that are at least in an orangish color. So I'm going to use my house as an example. I live here in Texas in the Dallas area. So what I did was I logged into my utility provider uh, website, which is CoServe, logged into their portal, and got two years worth of data of actual usage at my house to use as the basis for the math. So I took all of that data, I put it into a spreadsheet month by month for the last two years, like I said, I calculated the total consumption in kilowatt hours and translated that to an average. Total bill for those 24 months, translated that into an average bill per month and then calculated that I pay roughly 10 cents per kilowatt hour for my power. So the next thing I needed to know was how much this system is going to cost. I decided to do a grid tied example um, because there's, there's, it opens up a whole other avenue of debate with, with uh, off grid and you talk about batteries and replacing the batteries and all that. So we're just going to talk grid tied. I needed to know how much a grid tied system costs. As of January 2017, which is last month, uh, a system costs $3.26 per watt installed. So I want to make sure that we understand that this is a fully installed cost. If I were to, if you were to just get the materials, as you see from this particular website, just a 15,000 watt system is is less than half of what an in, the installed system will actually cost. So this is fully baked in everything that you're going to have to pay in a lump sum. And that number came out to be $48,900 for the total cost. Now then you're going to get the ITC federal tax credit. Uh, on your, your tax return, which is going to give you a discount of $14,670 for a net total cost of $34,230. Um, that is going to save me, and, and this system is going to save me $2,184.93 a month. So my break even point is 15 and two thirds years. Now keep in mind that. Pretty much any solar panel you buy nowadays is going to be warranted for 25 years at 80% efficiency and they'll keep on going from there. So you're going to continue making money on this system well beyond the 15 and 2 thirds years that it takes to break even. So in my case, in my system that I've designed here, I'm going to make $20,393.25 at that 25 year mark. We're not even talking about how much the solar panels will increase the value of your home. As long as you're not leasing the panels from a, a company, you're buying them outright like in this example, the solar panels will add a significant amount of value to your home. In fact, Fannie Mae and FHA both require that to be added into the valuation of the home. So I'm going to throw down the gauntlet and issue a challenge. If you want to disagree with me, and that's fine, you got to back it up with real world data, real world numbers, just like I have. I've provided actual real data from my house and shown you that this can and will work. Now, obviously, like I said, that excludes certain parts of the country, New England, stuff like that. But if you live in a good solar area, solar will pay back and it is a smart investment. Thanks for watching, guys.